Sometimes your formula returns an error. There are various types of errors such as when you try to divide a number by zero, when you use a VLOOKUP function and the value is not available, an error when a formula refers to a cell that's not valid, there is calculation error, or an error when the formula cannot recognize something in it like if you use the wrong formula name. If you don't want such errors to appear in your spreadsheet or report, Excel can return or display a friendly message as an alternative to notify about the error. The if error function can help you with it. It's an elegant way to trap and manage errors without using the more complicated nested if statements. If error function returns a custom result when a formula generates an error. And if no error is detected, it simply returns the standard result of the formula. This video will show you how to do it. The if error function. Use the if error function in Excel to return an alternative result such as text when a formula encounters an error. Let me show you the first example of an error and how to use the if error function to display an alternative result. We have here a table showing the product name, the sales volume and revenue or the sales amount. There's a blank column for the unit price and we can fill that up with the formula revenue divided by the volume. Then let's copy that down. Now we encounter an error with product 4 because the volume indicated is 0. This time we need the help of the if error formula. Let us place it in the next column. Equal sign, if error, then tab. Input the formula to get the unit price which is revenue divided by the volume. Put a comma, then indicate the value that you want to appear in place of an error. Let us try 0. Then, copy that down. Instead of the error, 0 is displayed here. We can also try a friendly message, no volume. And don't forget the quotation marks before and after. Then, enter. Let's do another example. Let us use the same table but with VLOOKUP formula. Let us look up product 6. In this cell, perform the VLOOKUP formula. Equal sign, then type VLOOKUP and tab. Click the LOOKUP value, then go to the table array. Say we want to display the revenue which is in the third column of the table array. So we put 3. And false because we want the exact match. And it returns an error because obviously the lookup value which is product 6 is not in the table array. In the next cell, let us use the same references but with if error function. Type the equal sign if error and click tab. Then do the VLOOKUP formula. Type VLOOKUP, open parenthesis, lookup value, table array, column 3, then again false. Close parenthesis and the VLOOKUP formula is now complete. But we need to indicate what we want to appear in case of an error. We can try 0 and close parenthesis and enter. Or we can indicate none. Close parenthesis and enter. Excel displays exactly what we indicate in the formula. 
If we replace the lookup value with product 4, this will not result to an error because this value is in the table array. So, the standard answer for the formula is displayed. The if error function catches the following errors.